After Joshua's fifth major battle, God appeared to him and told him, Joshua, there remains very much land still to be conquered, still to be taken. And just when we, when we think we're done, when we're ready to congratulate ourselves and take a break, that's when God says to us that he has more work and more responsibility for us. We all know that scripture that the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. What SOE is all about is equipping and training laborers so they won't need to be ashamed of the work they've done. As the Apostle Paul tells us in Ephesians 4, and I'll read it, it's for the equipping of the saints, for the work of service, for the building up of the body of Christ. The School of Evangelism, in my opinion, is the very natural next course to the DTS. I believe the DTS is very focused on God loving you, you understanding that God loves you, you learning how to trust God, that He's the creator of the universe, that He's worthy of your trust. But the School of Evangelism then takes you to the next level of where the focus is primarily on you learning how to love God, how to love God's people, how to communicate what you believe, it takes you into a, a much deeper understanding of the scriptures, of the Word of God, how to study it. Also, you have to wrestle with God to figure out what you believe and why you believe it, so that you can effectively tell other people to further God's kingdom. In my SOE, I went to Houston, Texas for six weeks. We worked in the inner cities, partnered with churches, flooding the city of Houston with the love of God. One week we were working at a juvenile correctional facility and we had a big multimedia production that we put on and, and the whole time they were making fun of us, they were, they were cracking jokes, making cat calls at the girls and I just didn't think that anything was getting through. Till the very end, uh, everything went silent because they saw a clip of the passion of Jesus Christ. At the end of it, there was only 12 kids left in their seat because all of them had come up wanting prayer and wanted to receive Jesus into their heart. It was just such an incredible testimony of how what I saw was not what God saw. And even though I looked and it didn't seem like there was any hope, God had hope and He moved and He worked and He changed those kids' lives. And, and it changed my life because of it. SOE was awesome because it challenged me to think beyond just what I've been taught my whole life. SOE then comes along and prepares the person to deal with the culture that he's living in, deal with the concepts that his education has given him that may not be uh, appropriate uh, in his future ministry, whatever God is calling them to. It prepares him to think, understand the truths about government that God has in his word, the economy, all the things that make the gospel relevant to the daily life of uh, a nation, of a people group, so that we can uh, see God's desired effect in a culture. Um, when I came back from my SOE, I just really um, wanted to move and grow deeper in my relationship with God. I had experienced all this love that he had showered on me for the last six months, but then I wanted to give back. And so in my SOE, I got an insight of God's heart for the nations and, and the tools I got in my DTS, I then felt like I was equipped and knew how to use them through my SOE to go and reach the nations and spread the gospel. I would strongly suggest that if you could attend a School of Evangelism course and you've done a DTS, that you would, you would really consider before the Lord doing that course. 